Hello this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and in this tutorial I'll show you how you can send unique file attachments to different people using Mail Merge for Gmail. Now if you're new, Mail Merge is a free add-on for Google Sheets that helps you send personalized emails via your Gmail account. It also works with Google Apps and Google Inbox. Now if you haven't done so already, go to labnol.org/merge and install the Mail Merge add-on by clicking the free button. After you've installed Mail Merge, it will appear inside the add-ons menu of your Google Sheet. The first thing we need to do now is set up the sheet. So go to Add-ons, choose Mail Merge with Attachments and choose Create Merge Template. Now this Google Sheet has several columns. So let's say I'm a photographer and I need to apply for a job at different studios all across the world. So for each uh, studio, I will send them my portfolio. This portfolio will go out as a PDF file and this file will be different for each recipient. Uh, first name is the name of the recipient. Uh, I need this one. I don't need the last name, but I will add the studio name because that's the name of the studio where I'm applying for my role as a photographer and also the country where that studio is located. Next, I will add a row to this sheet. Now in Mail Merge, each row will go out as a separate email to the email address that's specified in the email address column. So for this, uh, for this example, let's, let's do a quick test to see how the final email will look like. So I go to Add-ons, Mail Merge, Configure. I'll choose the defaults for all these things. We'll worry about them later and go to the next page. Now here I will write the actual email template. So in the subject I'll say, um, let's say application for the position of photographer at studio name. Now if you notice I'm putting the studio name inside uh, double curly braces and basically what this means is it is a variable. So when the ma mail merge goes out this variable uh, which is inside double curly braces will be replaced with the actual values that are picked from the sheet. So I've written the subject, now let me quickly write the email body. So the email body is now ready, now let's quickly see how the final email will look like before I send it to the actual recipients. So I'll click the test button. I go to my Gmail inbox, look in the sent items and there you see the email, that is the test email that I just sent through Merge and uh, it looks good. You see that all the values, the variable names have been substituted with the actual values that were picked from the sheet. So all this looks good. Now in the next step we we'll look at how we can add unique attachments to each of our email messages. So the first thing I'll do is I'll add some more data to this Google Sheet. I'll quickly add some more rows. So this looks good. Now that our sample data is ready, we will look at adding unique attachments to each of the rows in this Google Sheet. So this is easy. I go to the add-ons menu. I'll choose Mail Merge, then Add File Attachments and Insert File from Google Drive. Now this will show me a list of all files in my Google Drive. I can select one or more files from this list and add them to the corresponding row in the Google Sheet. Now you'll notice that the link of the file is added here and uh, when the actual email goes out, this file will be, the corresponding file will be pulled from Drive and added to your email message. You can use the same technique to insert multiple attachments as well to the same email message. So if I follow the same steps and insert another file in the row, you will notice that this file has been appended to the existing one. So this is how you can select multiple files from Google Drive and add them to the same email message. So what we just saw was how to take a file from Google Drive and insert it as an attachment in our Mail Merge sheet. Now suppose if the file is on your computer, you can use Mail Merge to send that file as well via Mail Merge. Now what happens is you pick a file from your computer and it goes to a folder in your Google Drive and from Drive it inserts into the Mail Merge sheet. So 
indirectly you are sending it through drive only but you also have the option to pick it from your computer. Now with the two approaches you may have noticed how tedious it is to add file attachments to your uh, mail merge sheet right you have to open the file picker then you have to find the file in your google drive and then insert it i mean it takes way too many steps so there are easier ways as well so suppose uh, the file that you are trying to insert is called um, usa.pdf so instead of going to the file picker and finding it in the drive all you can do is just put the file name in the file attachments column and the mail merge add-on will at the time of sending the email will find the file in your google drive and insert it as attachment in your email message the problem with this approach is that suppose if you have a large drive and there are multiple files with the same name mail merge can get confused which file it should pull for your email message so in such situations where you think you have multiple files of the same name in your drive it's always a good idea to specify the full path of the file instead of just specifying the name of the file. So that is one of the many ways in which you can insert files in your Google Drive. But I want to show you one more thing. So if you go to the add-ons menu, mail merge and under the add file attachments column, you will see a new option that says list files in Google folder. Now this is an interesting one and you'll soon understand what it means. So just choose this option and uh, it will present you a list of folders that are in your Google Drive. Just select the one where you have all the files uh, for sending through mail merge. And what mail merge will now do is it will scan all the files and will generate a list of all the files that you have inside this folder. It will add these files to a new Google spreadsheet. So you could be wondering what do you do with all these files, right? Well, here's the magic. Go back to the mail merge sheet and look into the mail merge file attachments column. You'll notice that each of the cell has a little drop down, right? Now when you click this drop down, it will actually show you all the files that are in that folder. And you can visually select the file that you want to send with your mail merge. Okay, so now we are all set. Let's, let's run the merge to see how these attachments would look like actually in the final email messages. So I go to my Gmail sent items and there you have a list of all emails that have gone out. If I open these emails, you'll notice that all the variable names, those variables that were inside curly braces, they have been replaced with actual values from the Google Sheet. And the file attachments, the unique file attachments have been correctly added to all the emails. So you have seen how easy it is to send unique attachments to your contacts through mail merge. Head over to labnol.org merge and download the mail merge add-on now. Thanks.